We are currently experiencing a systems failure in our security network. Time travel volunteers, please stand by. Dr. Brown will be with you in just a moment, and we will begin preparation for our journey one day into the future. The uh, new 8 passenger DeLorean is currently running its pre-time travel systems checks, so please stand by. Report in immediately. Quadrant one, check in. Quadrant one, locked and secured, Doc. Level two, check in. Level two, locked and secured, Doc. Section three, check in. Section three, locked and secured, Doc. Zone four, check in. Zone four, do you copy? I'm a butthead. Jump it, gigawatts. It's Biff. I'm sorry, folks, but we're currently. Experiencing an unprecedented debilitation of our security systems. In other words, we got problems. There's only one troublemaker who can throw a monkey wrench in the works like this. Biff Tannen, juvenile delinquent. Graduated Hill Valley High School, class of 1955. 1955? There's something very strange going on around here. At any rate, stay alert. Tannen gets his hands on some of the equipment around here at the Institute, it could mean the end of the very universe as we know it. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your visit. We are currently experiencing minor security difficulties. We apologize for the inconvenience. Whew. I had a check there for a second. Now, if my assumption is correct, Biff must have entered the complex diabolically disguised as one of you. Now, it's not your fault, but I'd check your neighbor or loved one if I were you. And remember, Biff can be quite persuasive, but don't listen to him. At the present time, you're scouring every inch of the Institute with a fine-tooth comb. So it's only a matter of time before we catch that juvenile delinquent. So don't worry. I mean, watch the monitors. Chow time. 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 Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Huh? What are you looking at, butthead? Wait a second. Who the suckers Doc Brown conned into his time travel experiment? You know, some of Doc Brown's guinea pigs never make it back. <laughs> I'm not saying you shouldn't volunteer. I just hope the Doc's making it worth your while. <laughs> If it was me, I'd throw some cash your way. But hey, I'm a generous guy. <laughs> Come to think of it, maybe I can make it worth your while. That is, if you help me find Doc Brown's time machine. You know, the flying DeLorean. What's the matter, you chicken? Hey, you! See any suspicious-looking characters around here? Uh, no, sir. It's been quiet as a rat. Just repairing the security camera in case anyone does show up. Well, okay. You just keep your eyes peeled. I hear this guy's a real nutcase. Nutcase? Well, what? what about you people? Any sign of trouble? No? Well, keep a lookout. This guy's a real jerk. <laughs> they call this security. Give me a break. There's no way Doc Brown's gonna stop me now. Excuse me. I gotta finish my repair work. <laughs> Even though we have a little security problem on our hands, we must prepare you for temporal displacement. That's time travel to you. Now, it's crucial that I spend a little time going over the basics of time travel. Perhaps this demonstration will suffice. Figuring out the space-time continuum is tricky business, believe me, I know. And that's why I developed this, my ultimate scientific achievement, the new eight-passenger DeLorean time vehicle. It's faster, more energy efficient, and 
And it's a convertible. I figured if you know what the weather's going to be like in the future, why not just time travel to the sunny days? Whether it's an intergenerational carpool or a quadruple date through time, this baby's got it. But it's only for those who take time travel very seriously. And that means you. But remember, this is all top secret. With Tannen on the loose, we can't afford to take any chances. Great Scott. See what I mean? Have a nice trip. See you next winter! <laughs> I assure you, this is hardly business as usual here at the Institute. A mere fluke. Our security system is virtually impenetrable. It'll take a lot more than a hoverboarding hood to pull the plug on this operation. <laughs> darn, darn, darn. Now, please stand by for an important message from the Institute's Chief Inventive Officer, Dr. Emmett Brown. Now that you're here, time travel volunteers, I can give you your pre-flight briefing. There's a lot you'll need to know if you're to successfully cross the space-time continuum. We'll have to hurry, though. The Biff's still on the loose. Anything could happen. <laughs> Did you get in here? Why don't you ask these bozos? Doc, one of our time travel teams was conducting an experiment back in 1955. He must have stowed away! Hey, I'm not one to pass up a free ride! Tanner! You shouldn't be here in the present! We gotta get you back to 1955, or we could create a major paradox! Oh, don't worry, Doc. I'll go back. And in style. But first, I'm gonna take a little joy ride. No! Biff! Love to stay in chat, Doc. I just ain't got the time. <laughs> what am I saying? I got all the time I want! <laughs> Unlock these gates, Helen! I'll still a bye-bye! This is terrible. He's gone all the time. History is legal. It will be completely obliterated. If he starts stop, we can... Wait a second. Ah, why didn't I think of this before? My newest invention. They passengered the DeLorean time vehicle. That's it. I'll just hop in it. Great Scott, what am I thinking? I'm trapped like a rat in my own office. There's no way I can get to the time machine. Hold on a minute. I can get to it. But... My time travel volunteers, you and you and you, you're my only hope. They pass a new DeLorean, it's just beyond that door where you're standing. I can pilot my remote control from here, but I'm gonna need you to help me navigate. You've got to catch Biff. The fate of the entire universe rests in your hands. Now try and relax while we go over a few vital safety instructions. Here are a few safety tips you should know before taking off. Watch your head as you step into the time travel vehicle. Once in, slide to the furthest seat. Adults, watch your head as the ceiling slopes down in the back. Remain seated. The safety restraint will be activated by one of Doc Brown's assistants. Keep your arms and legs away from the door. Take extra care that cameras and other personal belongings do not interfere with the safety restraint. No photography is permitted during the ride. And please, no smoking, eating, or drinking while inside the time vehicle. We ask that you follow these simple safety tips during your journey across the space-time continuum. Enjoy your flight. I almost forgot. In order to successfully bring Biff back to our time period, it is necessary to accelerate up to 88 miles per hour and bump him. That's right, bump him. The impact 
of two traveling time vehicles will create a time vortex, sucking both vehicles and time travelers back to their original point of departure. There's no telling where or when Biff may be leaving us, so be prepared for anything. Good luck, time travelers. Get in! Watch your step. Hurry up! Get in, let's go! We've got to move! Watch your step. Get in now! Hurry up! Get ready! Don't worry about a thing, you're in good hands! Oops! I still haven't worked all the bugs out of this thing. But no matter, we're on a mission of universal proportions. Doc, Biff has passed through the space-time continuum, but we've got no way of knowing where he is. You mean, when he is. And we do have a way of knowing when he is. The eight-passenger time vehicle is equipped with a sub-ether time tracking scanner, which will allow us to track Biff to his precise location at the precise moment in whatever time period he may have traveled. Doc, all pre-launch system checks are complete. That's our cue. Hang on to your hats. Don't forget, when you see Biff in the middle of the accelerate to 88 miles per hour and bump him. Accelerating now to 55 miles per hour. 65, 75, 85, 85! Hey, Bill in the year 2015. And then Biff, let's get him. Oh, oh well.
them. The impact between the two vehicles should send us straight back to the Institute. Thanks, Dr. Brown. You saved my life. Boy, man, get to me with something. You did it! Not only did you catch me and save the universe, but you proved that my latest invention is a success. Go forth, time travelers, and remember the future is what you make it. What's up guys, it's Ben from Theme Park Groupie. Thanks for watching our video of Back to the Future ride at Universal Studios Florida. This ride closed on March 30th, 2007, so we had just hit our 12 year anniversary a couple weeks ago. Uh, we're very sad that this ride had to go, but we understand that Universal wants to be bigger and better, so they brought in Simpsons, but now Disney owns Simpsons, so the future of that ride is unknown at this point. We don't know what the contract has, if they want to abide by it, who knows. If you did like this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching Theme Park Groupie.